Hello, in this video we're going to look at DNA and the genome. And the first thing we should do is describe what we mean by the word genome. So the genome is basically the entire genetic material of an organism. The organism could be a plant, it could be an animal, even bacteria, but the genome of that organism is called, or sorry, the entire genetic material of that organism is called its genome. And that basically is all of the DNA present in that living thing. The DNA has a very important job. It basically controls the production of protein. It doesn't do anything else in the body or the cells. It just controls the production of protein, when to make it, how to make it, and how much of it to make. And that by itself is how the cell gets its characteristics and how you get all your characteristics. We can look to see where the DNA is. And if we were to pluck out a cell, we could take a cell from the body, enlarge it so we could see it a bit more clearly. And there are a couple of features there that we just need to describe so that we can understand where the DNA is and how it looks. So in the center there is a structure called the nucleus, which I'm sure you've heard of or heard about and learned about many times. And inside the nucleus are these structures called chromosomes. Now they're not there all the time, but during parts of the cell cycle, you'll find the chromosomes inside the nucleus of a cell. In humans, there are 46 different numbers in different living things, but in humans, 46. And if we were to pull out one of those chromosomes, it looks a little bit like that. And if we were to look in more detail still, you would see that the chromosome is made up of what we call supercoiled DNA. So the DNA is present there, very tightly wound up or very tightly coiled. And if we were to uncoil it, it would look a little bit like a piece of string. It's a polymer, so it's a long molecule. And if we were to magnify it even further, you would see that it's, that it's actually not one single strand, but it's two strands wrapped around each other. Because it's a, because it's a molecule, we would have to uh, magnify it quite a lot. But there you can see the DNA as two strands wrapped around each other, and we call that a double helix. So there's our double helix called the DNA. So for the next section, we just need to clear away some of these labels to make some space. But for the next bit, we need to know that along the length of the DNA, there are these individual little parts, and we refer to those as genes. They're called genes. And if you were to write down what a gene was, you can simply describe it as a small section of DNA. And you could, I suppose, add that it codes for a protein. So that's the first point. Genes are small sections of DNA, and each gene carries the code to make a protein. So that's two separate points about what a gene is. It's a small section of DNA and it carries the code to make a protein. Let's take a closer look at our protein. So here is a protein from the cell. I've done it that particular shape to remind us it's a protein, but also to remind us very importantly that proteins rely very much on their shape. Their shape has to be correct for them to be, for them to be able to do their job within cells. If the shape is incorrect, it's not going to be able to do its job properly and that could cause problems for the cell, for the tissue and in fact for the whole organism. So the protein relies on its shape to function properly and we know that proteins are made of chains of these little, little individual units that you should know and remember and these are our amino acids. So I'm kind of drawing them as different shapes just to, just to show that there are many different amino acids. There are about 20 altogether. But proteins are made of amino acids, and those amino acids join up to make chains, and those chains are folded into particular shapes. And that particular shape allows a protein to function properly. So getting those amino acids in the right order is really, really important. So we can highlight that there, just so that we know to remember that very key point. So I think we can summarize the whole of what we've just looked at in some bullet points. DNA is a polymer made of two strands in a double helix. It's found in the nucleus in structures called chromosomes. A gene is a small section of DNA on a chromosome, and each gene codes for a particular sequence of amino acids to make a very specific protein. Okay, so this is the whole of the kind of video summarized in four points there, but you may need to go over the previous parts of the video just to make sure you understand what those different points mean. However, this is it for this video. We're gonna use this as the basis for our protein synthesis video in the higher tier. But for now, that's me done. Thank you for watching and I'll speak to you soon.